Hamtech Insta360 Ace Pro. Let's update the firmware manually using our Windows PC. You're going to need a USB cable. To check your firmware version, we're just going to go down, cross light to the left, tap the settings cog, and then you'll see camera info at 1.0.63. And I, I think it's quite old. So I did actually try and up, update it using the app, but it didn't work. So I thought, well, I'll just plug it into my PC. Let's grab my cable. As soon as you plug it in, you get choices. You want the first one, you disk mode, like so. And effectively on your PC, it will appear. Uh, go to the little yellow folder that's File Explorer. Right click it and go File Explorer. You'll get a new window open. And then you want to look for USB drive, which is just sort of here. See, USB, not the DCM, you want USB drive. And the whole lot will show up, or the word DCM will show up there, just here. Minimize that for now. Go to the link I provide, you'll see this page, and then select your camera. Ours is the Insta360 Ace Pro, not the 2 model, but this is just the standard model. And we're going to click Software, and it takes you to this window. You can actually download the app here as well. I might need to update mine because look, there's a few bugs updated there. On it looks like 4th of July 2025, so it's well worth getting getting the latest version 2.3.3. But so we'll do that anyway. Then scroll down, look like so, and there's the firmware. Look at that, 1.080. So there's been a few added. A new clear colour profile to enhance facial brightness and skin tone. Excellent. So it looks like quite a major update, if you ask me. Improve, improved clarity zoom for a better experience with an option to turn it on and off in settings. Here's earlier version. So we're going to click download and it's going to put that in our downloads folder. It's basically a firmware file. And we're going to actually put that on to, back onto our our folder here or effectively we're putting it on the SD card um, or on the let's call it the USB disk that is what the the device is the 360 is so it's shown here look we're going to right click and go show in folder bring back that window just here so all I'm going to do is go downloads click on it and literally just Click your finger on it and literally just drag it into the folder of the camera and it will just go there as you can see mine has done. So now the easy bit is just unplug the USB and I'm just going to do it from my PC and it should do the firmware. So it says checking firmware and fingers crossed it's going to update automatically. There it goes. Oh, it's fast. Very pleased at that because I didn't buy the Pro 2 because I got this one at a really good price. Um, so the Insta 360 8 Pro 2. You know, I'd rather have the new one. Of course I would. But at the end of the day, I got this at like £200. And it's still... I don't see a massive difference. I'm going to update the app on my phone as well now. So there you go. Restarting. In four seconds, update successful, zero, and it's on. And what I'll do, I'll go outside, do a bit of footage and just pin it to the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. So one of the features is Matrix, where it adjusts the exposure when you go from, say, darker environments to lighter environments. If we tap that, you've got the selection there, Matrix also clear as well and you've also that's you know in this these selections as you scroll up and down clear says bright cool white tones ideal for vlog and portraits okay we're just in the garden now and we selected face recognition which it seems to be doing and we've got matrix and clear selected so i don't know you tell me but it's really nice that, to get these updates because it shows that they still look after products, you know, even when they bring out a new product. 
uh, so I think it's good and thanks for watching my techie videos check out my ones on uh, my many videos on ham radio and also drones there's my dog Mazzy here say hi Mazzy and please hit the like and subscribe bye for now all the best the app is updated you can see there when we select album we've got the different recordings we've made and if you go back to camera and look at that it's nice and clear isn't it so check it out thanks for watching so far i might just quickly pop my my 360 flow on just see how good that is with the app and then we'll end just connected it to the app updated the firmware and it's working great thanks for watching again bye for now